Hey guys, welcome to this video. Andy Math. For this video, we're going to do adding and subtracting negative and positive numbers. Subtracting. So this one right here, and here's all the problems we're going to do. 3 minus 7. So we think of a number line going this way. If this is 0, what it means by 3 minus 7 is we start at 3 up, and then we're going to go down 7 from the 3. So we started here, and then we're going to go down 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that puts us at negative 4. So the first one is negative 4. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So same idea, this one's negative 3 minus 4. So for this one, we're going to start at negative 3. 1, 2, 3. So we're starting there. We're starting at this number. And this means go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we're at negative 7. So the answer for that one's negative 7. Let me check it. Negative 7. So the next one is negative 5 minus negative 4. So whenever you're minusing a negative, that's the same thing as adding. One way you could think of it is I'm not not going to the store. So if you're not not going to the store, then you are going to the store. So it's a plus. And this is still a negative 5 right here. So anytime you have a subtracting a negative, it's always going to be a plus. So now how do we do this one? Negative 5 means we're starting at 5 below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our starting point's right here. And then the plus 4 now means we're going up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that means we're done at negative 1. So the answer to this one's negative 1. Yep, negative 1. Now 8 plus negative 5. So for this one, we're going to start at 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then what this plus negative 5 means is that we're going down 5. So we're starting right here at 8. And then we're going to go down 5. And that puts us down to 3. So the answer to this one is 3. Yep. Next is 8 minus negative 5. Now, for this one, anytime you're subtracting a negative number, it's the same thing as adding. So we can think of this as 8 plus 5. And I don't even know if we need the number line for this, but we can do it anyway. We start at 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we start here, and we're going to go up 5. That won't fit on my number line. 8 plus 5, imagine going up 5 from here. That's going to bring us to 13. So the answer for this one is 13. Next is negative 14 plus 9. So for this one, we're going to start 14 in the hole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're starting right here at negative 14. And then the plus 9 means we're going to go up 9. So if we go up 9 from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that puts us at negative 5. So the answer to this one is negative 5. We can check it. It's negative 5. Next, negative 18 minus 8. So now we're going to start at negative 18. So we're going down 18 from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're right here. And then we're going to go down 8 is what that minus 8 means. Go down 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we could count all of these and we'll realize it's negative 26. Another way you can think of it is this negative 18 and this negative 8 are working together. So we're going deeper in the hole. So we're almost adding the 18 plus the 8, which gives us 26. And then since we were digging deeper, it's a negative 26. So this one's going to be negative 26. Yep. Next, negative 18 plus 8. So here we're going to start 18 in the hole. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. And then this plus 8 means we're going up 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then this number, we could count it all out. It's going to give us negative 10. 
And once again, another way we can think of it is this negative and this positive are working against each other. So we're going to subtract and we get 10. And then since the 18 is larger, so that means it's going to be deeper in the hole. So that 18 is pulling the 8 down. And so the final answer is negative 10. So there's a couple different ways to think of it. We could draw it out on the number line or you can kind of think of it this way. Either way, we get negative 10 and that should be the answer. We can check it. Negative 10. Uh, next, 18 plus negative 8. So for this one, you can think of this as 18 minus 8. So there is no difference between plus a negative number and subtracting a number. And 18 minus 8, I don't think we need the number line for. We just know that is 10. And that's the answer to that one. It's 10. Uh, 5 minus 8. So here we're going to start at 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 5. And then minus 8 means we're going to go down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we can count, and that gives us negative 3. So the answer to this is negative 3. Another way you can think of it is since this is a positive 5 and this is a negative 8, they're working against each other. So we can go 8 minus 5 and get 3. And then since the negative number is larger, the negative 8 is the bigger one, it pulls it down and makes it negative 3. So whichever way you prefer, they both give us the same answer. And negative 3 should be correct. Negative 3. Next one is negative 12 minus 4. So for this one, we start at negative 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So right here is negative 12. And then the minus 4 means we're going to go down 4. So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that brings us to negative 16. And the other thing we can do is recognize that they're both negative which means they're working together. So we can add the two numbers. And then since they were both negative, that means they were working together, digging a hole, going down. So it's negative 16, which is what we already got. So that should be the answer. Negative 16. Next is negative uh, 15 minus negative 9. So first thing, as soon as we see minus a negative, we want to make it a plus. So there's two ways to do this. One, we start at negative 15. One, two, three, four, five. So there's our negative 15, and then we go up 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that brings us to negative 6. So the answer is negative 6. The other way we can think of it is... This is a negative 15 and this is a positive 9. So they're working against each other. So we're going to subtract them, which gives us 6. And the larger number is negative, which means it's going to pull it down into negative 6. So the answer should be negative 6. Negative 6. Next one, 8 plus negative 15. So for this one, we start at 8, positive 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is right here. And then we're going to go down 15. Plus a negative, same thing as minus, which means going down. So we go down 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That makes sense. 8 brings us back to 0. And then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now if we count these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we get negative 7. So the answer should be negative 7. And then thinking about the other way, this is a positive 8 and this is a negative 15. So they're working against each other. So we can go 15 minus 8 and we get 7. And then since the 15, the negative number is larger, it pulls it down into negative. So the answer is negative 7, just like we got up there. So we can check it. Uh, negative 7. Next, 8 minus negative 8. So very first thing we want to do here, minus a negative, immediately change it into a plus. So this is 8 plus 8. And I imagine we don't need the number line for this to recognize that it's 16. 
And if we want to do it the other way, we can recognize they're both positive, so they're working together. So that'd be eight plus eight is 16. And since they're both positive, it's still positive. So the answer is 16. And we can check it. 16. So just four more to go. We got this. Uh, next, negative 19 plus nine. So what do we do? We start at negative 19. So we go down one, two, three, four, five, six. So I believe that's right here, negative 19. And then the plus nine means we're gonna go up nine. So we can count up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, nine. So we stop right there. And if we count these, that should be negative 10. So the answer is negative 10. Another way to think of this is since this is negative and this is positive, they're working against each other. So we're gonna subtract them. And then since the larger number was negative, it makes it negative. So the answer is negative 10. And yep, negative 10. The next one is negative 19 minus nine. Same thing, we're going to start at negative 19, which is right there, and then we're going to go down 9. So the negative 9 means we're going to go down 9 more. 1, 2, 3, 8, 9. So we go all the way down to here. And if we count those all up, we should get negative 28, and that would be our answer. And then the alternate way we can do this is recognize they're both negative, so they're working together, so we're going to add them. 19 plus nine is gonna give us 28. And then since they're both negative, it means they're digging the hole, going deeper together. So it's negative 28. Negative 28, uh, negative 14 plus eight. So negative 14 plus eight, we're gonna start at negative 14, and then we're gonna go up eight. And that brings us to negative six. And then the other way we can do this is recognize their opposite signs. So we're gonna subtract, that gives us six. And then since the negative number is larger, it brings it down to negative six. So the answer should be negative six. And the last one is negative 18 plus negative eight. So for this one, we're gonna start at negative 18. And then the plus negative eight means going down eight. So we're gonna go down eight. And if we were to count all these, we get negative 26. And then once again, there's the alternative way to do it, recognizing that they're both negative. So they're gonna to work together. So we're gonna add them to make them work together. And that gives us 26. And then since they're both negative, that means they're working together to dig deeper to negative 26. So the answer should be negative 26. And it is. And this feels familiar like we already did it. Oh, right here. So here's a negative 18 minus 8. And ours was negative 18 plus negative 8. And they are the same thing. So negative 18 minus minus eight is the same thing as negative 18 plus negative eight. They both start at negative 18 and they're both gonna go down by eight. So I hope all these make sense. Please like and subscribe. Check out andymath.com for more videos and study guides. Here's all the different stuff here. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.